guys welcome to another video i'm colin uh, today i just wanted to let you know about something um that i've been struggling with um if you look i've got this red line the playhead of course you're thinking yeah but look when i go over the clips i get another playhead red line skimming the clips and i was wondering like why have i got this normal playhead and then i go on the clips and then I have that as well. Um, so it's causing problems because sometimes you want to cut with Command B, the blade tool. And I'm used to cutting at the playhead. So when I click and then I press Command B, it cuts at this little red line here. And it's really difficult to get it accurate. So I was wondering, how do you get rid of this? I, I'm sure it wasn't there before. Um, so it got to a point where I just put up with it for a few days. Um, I think at some point I pressed a, a shortcut by accident and not realised what's happened. But it's become really annoying so I've had to really kind of look and kind of figure out how I um, get this off. I looked in Google, um, uh, you know, if people had problem as well and they were just suggesting the skimming with the S. You know, it's this red line. You press S, you're skimming the whole track. Uh, but this isn't this like mysterious red line here. Uh, so after looking in the menu for a little bit, I went to view and I discovered that clip skimming is turned on, which is this shortcut. I must have pressed it accidentally. So once I turn that off, then it's gone back to normal. So it just feels like I can click now and I can actually work better and um, it just feels pretty dangerous with the red line always following the cursor. So now I can just put the, put the playhead where I want it, press Command B, and it cuts to this playhead, which I'm used to. Um, I really didn't like this other clip skimming turned on. Um, so it's really annoying. I just wanted to you know, let you know if you have this problem in the future um, and you've no need for it, it just gets in the way. Uh, it got in the way. It got in the way of the cuts I was doing, you know. So, so basically, like what it is is we know about skimming. You press S, you skim, and you skim quick. You see all the all the clips really quick like that, just from moving your, play, your cursor, playhead. Um, and the other, the one I've just discussed, I'll turn it off. Um, clip skimming is pretty much the same thing from what I can see, um, as what I just did. Um, it's just doing it over the clips rather than on the top bit here, which is not doing anything now. Um, so I'm, I'm not too sure what the advantages of this clip skimming it are, um, but I wanted to make a video on it because it was causing me a headache, not just this once, but I've noticed it in the past as well. And it can just throw you off your work when you're just sitting down to do an edit and this annoying red line's always there and uh, potential to do some damage to your work by cutting the wrong places, you know, so, um, but that's all I want to say today, really, that's, that's um, you know, so hopefully that helps you and keeps, keep that in mind for the future, um, this is my 30th day in a row of doing the video, I, I set out to do a challenge, I'm really pleased, and I hope you've enjoyed the videos, um, so I've come to the end of this challenge with 30 days in a row, this is the final one, of course, so from now on, I'll be going to more of a schedule per week. And as I feel I have something to share and uh, and put on this on this channel, I will put it on there. So maybe um, I will say for now, like one video to two videos per week, I will schedule in. All right. So, um, you know, if you do want a lot more videos, just leave a comment. Let me know. Um, but I will keep the channel running, uh, but I'll do more of a schedule consistency over time. And then the idea is hopefully produce much better quality content with more thought uh, into like the thumbnails and the content and the actual uh, tutorial itself and possibly doing some longer, um, longer, like more helpful tutorials um, in, in the future. So I want to thank you if you've seen a lot of these videos and you've enjoyed them um it's just been a pleasure and uh i wish you the best in your editing if you've uh 
you know, if you want to leave a comment, let me know what you're working on, what what kind of, how you're involved with uh, video making. Uh, if you've got a YouTube channel, just let me know and I'll have a look at it and, uh, you know, I'll give you my thoughts on it uh, from, you know, from my perspective. Um, I do have a channel now it's, which has got 1,500 subs and it's doing really well for Ball Strike Gamer on this, uh, on this platform, YouTube. Um, so until the next video, peace, thanks for listening, see you soon.